I basically ripped the lure apart, took the little end piece and put it on this tiny hook. As you can see from my thumb that this is a really small hook and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. So uh, I'm gonna toss it in and then let's see what happens. These guys actually make really good pets. Look at that. Here, put on the nines. Nines optics, baby. See him now? What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm glad you are here. Today, I am uh, doing some micro fishing. I made my own little micro lure to catch some micro bass today, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it, so, you know, whether you like it or not, all right, so I ripped the tail off of a lure and uh, just threw it on the hook like this. Hopefully you guys can see it. And uh, we're gonna catch some baby fish. So this was a little more difficult than I thought. Um, there was no real weight, so I couldn't, it was a little harder to work the lure. So I had to kind of drag the rod back and forth. That seemed to work all right, but it took some effort. We are peacock bass fishing my peoples look at this monster peacock bass if i can get them catching monsters out here almost got him got him got him there it is another one booyah another peacock And another one. Look at this pattern on this one. Long little stripe, eventually that'll fade away and uh, it'll just be the stripes on the side. Let me see if I can get a largemouth bass. There's literally like no weight. It's like casting a hook and that's it. I had to actually pull the line out and like whip the rod as hard as I could to get that little hook to fall out in the water. Largemouth bass. Look at that. Another peacock. Another guy. It's time to announce the shout out winner from the last trivia question. And it's Gelson Portillo. Congrats, you got all the questions right. There's another trivia question coming up at the end of this video. So watch the video, answer those questions, and uh, I might pick you to win a shout out in the next video. Hey guys, we got a young manatee right there. There's four pipes up underneath this, this grass here, which go across the street. And they're trying to figure out how to get over there, except that there is one that's about, I wanna say, what do you think? Eight feet long? It's about eight feet long. And uh, it doesn't fit through the pipe because it's so girthy. I'll show you some underwater footage of it. I wasn't expecting to see the manatees this far inland, but it's not the first time that I have. Um, they, they just swim through and they have these giant pipes that go underneath the roads and they swim through there. But this guy, he got part way in and had to actually back out because he was so thick. I mean, this, this, he was as long as a car. Like, uh, you can't really tell on camera, but this was a massive, massive creature. But yeah, the little baby wanted to keep going, but mommy or daddy, whichever one that was, turned around and ended up going the other way. When I see the manatees, you'll see it, usually see manatees like come up for air every few minutes, like every three to five minutes, they'll come up for air. But if they really need to, they can hold their, um, they can hold their breath underwater for like about 20 minutes. Oh no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want to actually catch this fish. My focus today was to actually try to get some underwater footage of fish striking at the lures and stuff. And that's exactly what this fish was doing. We went and got the camera. The second I turned the camera on, I dropped the lure in the water and boom, first hit, he hooked himself. So, so much for swiping at the camera. Oh, it's fried. It's around fry. Fortunately, at this spot, there was a peacock on a lot of fry. 
as you can see here. Um, so I was just dragging a little fluke junior back and forth and you can see the peacock just kind of swiping at it. I kind of wanted to catch this one, but I kind of didn't because as you can see in the video, there wasn't actually a pair of peacocks. It was only just one. There's a pea here. Um, on fry, I got it on the fry underwater, swiping at the, the lure. So when I was working the lure and putting the camera down in the water and all the fry, eventually the peacock kind of pushed away from me. And when I went to go actually try and catch the fish, it wasn't there for me to catch, which actually probably ended up being better since there was only one parent fish. And it's better that it was left alone to protect the, uh, the remaining fry. Oh, uh, I can't find them again. Hopefully you're enjoying some of this underwater uh, footage. Go back to the truck. Look at the kitty cat. Look at the kitty cat. Welcome to South Florida. Look at them teeth, man. Them things are vicious. To be honest with you, these guys actually make really good pets. And once they bond with you, they are kind of like stuck with you for life, man. They are like forever pets. I'm not gonna bug you. I'm not gonna bug you. Why? Look how cute he is. Them teeth though, man. Those teeth are vicious. I ain't gonna pet him. Let him go. All right. Scared? That thing's creepy. Look at it. His eyes are all black. He wants to get you. How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Good, good. You guys just hanging out, getting some time fishing? Yeah. Hey, change out, man. My name's Richard, buddy. Uh, uh, yeah, man. My name, everybody calls me Rich. Uh, I started a company up a few years back called Official. Okay. It says it on the back right there. Alright. Yeah, man. It's just some little local, little old thing I got, dude. Alright, man, man. I, I think I've seen it before. Yeah, bro. Got me a new hat. Check it out. Alright, for sure. Yeah, bro. Fishing be bringing people together. Just saw us fishing on the side of the road. He had some swag boop, boop, and uh, decided to hand me, a, hand me a hat. So uh, I'm gonna go give him a follow on Instagram and I'll probably put his information down below. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. It is trivia time, and here's your chance to win a shout out in my next video. Trivia question number one, other than baby peacock bass, what other baby fish did I catch? Trivia question number two, what massive creature did I see that was too big to fit in the pipe going underneath the street? And trivia question number three, when the guy pulled over on the side of the road, what did he give me to wear? Comment your answers below and I will pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that notification bell is on because you wanna get all the notifications. During this time of COVID-19 coronavirus craziness, please stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, until next time guys, Keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. I slay with a passion, they say I be swagging, they slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just slay the dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.